hello libra welcome back to my channel so let's see what's going on for you guys for the month of mid-month march uh let's see what we have for you in store let's see what are the messages for libra what are the messages for libra i got the king of cups coming out your first energy so you could be dealing with a water sign cap um, capricorn pisces cancer or a scorpio and the Hierophant. I think someone wants to take a leap of faith in bringing this to a next commitment. Uh, but I think that there might have been a lot of mind games in the past, which you are still a bit conflicted about, uh, whether you want to take this offer serious or not. See, you got the Page of Swords. You're really looking into this person's motives, their intentions their integrity towards you and you're really taking everything in in account like you're really uh, trying to check all the details before you accept this offer because in the past i think there ha might have been a lot of i want to say almost like misfortunes with this individual uh, they may have played a lot of mind games they may have rejected you in you know your own belief systems or that's how you felt, or you might be doing that to the other party. But right now, I think that you are taking stock of everything that has been said and done, and you're really paying attention to, to the details here. You're really trying to find out information um, about this person, maybe perhaps their past relationships, all right? The lover's card. So there is some, some spying going on and I feel like this might be from your end trying to, you know, find out some, if someone has a hidden agenda or not. Wow, Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love here, Libra. I see a lot of love. I think someone is trying to prove themselves to you uh, and you have a head to heart decision to make. Wow, Queen of Cups, that is, that is absolutely fabulous. I mean, you. Th this is going to be the Libra full moon, isn't it? So there is definitely a lot of sharing that is going to happen. Um, I think for most of you, this is going to be putting an end to past uh, conflicts and trying to look at the situation from a more loving perspective. And there is definitely a lot of healing and a lot of uh, love that is being shared here we got the king and the queen of cups i don't remember who had this as well well cancer had the king and the queen of cups as well but there was the king of cups that was in the reverse for you for for you there's finally like a peace of mind a rest in the situation you gathering up gathering up your thoughts uh, there has been great healing i think both of you have during all these conflicts that you had in this in this relationship or whatever the relationship may have been healed from one another healed the pain from the past uh past experiences or past life and you're just being very cautious at this point but i think you're going to give in like you're going to give in to love there is absolutely a lot of healing loving and caring energy that i'm getting here for you guys you're definitely in a very sensitive um, energy at this point and you're really using your intuition to make decisions here and it's it is going to be one that is going to set your mind free it's going to be one that is going to give you a lot of peace here got the two of pentacles Like, even if you do accept this individual back, I think you, I think you are going to be very, still going to be very cautious. You're going to look at this from all angles and all perspectives. And I think that you're going to be more flexible though. Like there is, there is a, there is a flexibility coming from your end. There is like a lot of compassion coming from your end and trying to understand where the other person came from like a lot of empathy and sympathy is what i'm feeling from for you guys 
you have the three of swords ending but this is i think more forgiveness you know the last uh, part of this relationship is forgiving one another you got the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck could be also dealing with a um, capricorn towards a virgo that might be coming in and that might be you know the decision the decision that you're about to make and i feel like someone is going to be kind of like bruised i think you have the decision to make between two people uh, or two commitments that's what i feel here and I feel like you're going to go for the water sign. That's that's like what I'm getting through here. But I feel like there is still a lot of things that you have kind of like kept to yourself. Um, trying to be flexible in the situation and most likely kept some of the information to yourself. Very deep within which you are going to expose or you, you're needing to, you know, go back. Go back to history and really like for for a brief seconds relive whatever the trauma was that you relived with this individual. And I think the word needs to be spoken here with the Three of Swords. This is a message, but I do also feel like you're gonna send out a message to someone to, you know, tell that person that it's not going to work any longer. Or this message may come to you, take it however it is. But there's definitely a message that is gonna go through that is going to be heartbreaking for a third party. And I feel like you are going to take whatever it takes to uh, keep this union strong and going. And whatever is not serving you or your partner or this relationship is going to be thrown out. There's only like room for one cup here. And yet there are like three swords here. So someone is going to be dismissed. Um, I think it has not been very easy for you. This is definitely for those who have been dealing with, you know, two people or you were one of the two. Uh, however it resonates, I mean, this can be always go vice versa. So be, be, keep that in mind. And I have the feeling that you're going to be in a very sensitive space. Like you don't want to break someone's heart by telling them that you know you choose someone else or you choose another direction um but but you're gonna have to and i think you're gonna do it very diplomatically like you, you you're going to like very empathic you're going to um, which is very libra like right like you're gonna bring it up like very empathic with a lot of sympathy for the other person it's not going to be like it's going to be tough for you. I think you're you're gonna need your time to rest and to contemplate and to really, you know, have a time out before you approach the situation. You're gonna really try to weigh things up for yourself, like the Libra that you are. You're gonna weigh up like the pros and the cons of how to convey this message to this individual. And so that's going to be very interesting week for you or month for you, uh, Libra. And definitely a very, very interesting um, new moon that you're that you're having at this point. I do want to use the numerology. I don't know why, but I felt the need to draw like an extra card here. Karmic completion. Whoever is going to be dropped out that was a karmic partner, someone that was that you've had a very tough lesson with, but it has come to completion. And now it's time for a new journey to start, a new um, a new beginning here. So there's definitely a huge karmic completion that is going on. And I think that you guys do deserve that because I know that you've been through a lot of difficulties and now it might be a bit hurting for both, for both ends. I don't think that you, you know, like to lose whoever this other person is, but it's kind of like for the sake of love, you need to either choose for yourself or to choose one individual. It could be also that you're choosing yourself here, like to choose to have faith in yourself, to have faith in your in, in your destiny and to wrap something up, to complete some kind of a cycle. For some of you, this could be like a long lasting relationship that was just not uh, going and you both separate with kind of like on a loving note all right like on a loving note got surrender so i feel like someone is not going to be completely happy with this you know with the three of swords here someone is going to be quite uh, broken by it but 
you know, it's, it's about surrendering to that. And it's like too tense or you're definitely ending some kind of a big, big, long, 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 long cycle that you've had with someone. All right. So this was your reading, dear Libra. I hope I gave you guys enough clarity for this um, mid month. And I'm going to continue this reading. The link is down in the description box below this video. And or else I'll see you guys within two weeks and we will do the he said, she said spread. Thank you guys for your love and support. Goodbye.